very interesting uh, what you just said because I'm just thinking uh, and imagining because I have stepped out of the hotel industry now for more than 20 years going into education. Um, I'd love to be a fly on the wall of a ballroom meeting that you guys have where all the executive committee is sitting together and trying to figure out what are the plans going to be for the next week, next month. Do you even think about forecasting for six months? Well, forecasting, I think we all have to, um, again, because we are, uh, we are part of a listed entity and, you know, we, we are expected to, to produce numbers and forecasts and uh, the board requires them, the, the exchange requires them, the shareholders, the unit holders require them, they want to be guided. But how accurate they are going to be, I think is going to be um, anybody's guess. For example, right now we, we are forecasting looking at next week, next month and uh, weeks ahead. Um, then the biggest question, what keeps a lot of hotels uh, today active and busy is the staycationer market, which is supported by the Singapore Rediscover Voucher Scheme, um, which are supposed to you know, come to an uh, end in June this year. But it is have, it's speculated and likely will happen that it will be extended, the validity. Now, decisions like that, announcements like that, which I think is pending in the next few days, is going to impact how we forecast what we are going to expect or otherwise. Yeah. Next week, the week after, the month after. Yeah, There were uh, rumours that they are going to, because only 300,000 uh, vouchers were used so far, and that's not even like 20% of the total issue. Uh, so I think there's still a lot more that needs to be yes. uh, cashed in on. So why why I said that was because uh, you asked, you know. So does it? How do we forecast? How important is it? And uh, much of our uh, guesswork is also dictated by external circumstances, right. by the government deciding: do we extend? We don't extend. Do we let it lapse? We don't let it lapse. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree, with Kim Seng. Right? I think there is absolute need to do forecasting. Uh, it's a responsible thing to do. With regards to employee manpower, rostering, uh, expectations of yourself, of the company. But as Kim Seng pointed out, the situation is rather fluid. Right. Uh, as much vaccination as we've done as a nation, as much vacation that we can push, uh, we're still a very small country. Yeah. A tiny nation trying to depend on domestic tourism is just not going to fly. And we are very dependent on international trade. Way before anything else, we, we are a small trading nation. We need our international <coughs> counterparts to open their borders and resume regular travel. And that's what we need to do. Uh, but until that comes, there is a responsibility, to your point, to continue to forecast. Uh, because people live on hope. Uh, hotelers live on hope. Uh, and forecasting for a better, greener day, forecasting recovery, tourism 2.0, travel 2.0, and that's what we're here to do. Sure. So, if you were sitting down and discussing forecasts, getting forecasts from your department heads, for example, where would they get their, what would, they, what would their sources of information be upon which they would do their forecasts and strategies? So there's got to be some reliable sources that you turn to for information. Could you give me a tip on where, what are some of that sources? Well, I think there's always the element of right news, fake news, but don't underestimate the power of your brand. Don't underestimate the power of creativity the hotel teams have uh, to create new opportunities, new reasons to visit a hotel, stay in a hotel, dine. And that's what we're seeing in Singapore. I think there are many creative ideas coming through. Yeah. Things that are usually not traditional have come true. Right. Just last week, um, I was told there are certain banks in Singapore where if you deposit money with them, it's no longer looking for extra interest income because interest rates are so low. They're actually giving out free room nights. So hotels have also morphed to find different partnerships right. to enable their, their rooms to be more visible right. online right. in different platforms for people to enjoy the facilities right. in Singapore. Right. Um, I think the, the news that we work with uh, are through 
what's published in the newspaper, right. our government actions, working closely with Singapore Tourism Board, uh, every step of the way counts. And that gives the <coughs> forecast a bit more robustness. Right. And when you hit a robust forecast, it gives you more confidence as to what to expect month on month. And that confidence will grow as you move towards, an inch towards recovery.